previously on and board. And we turn our attention now to very big news from the weekend. Of course, everybody talking about it. The Springboks' performance against the All Blacks. And uh, our first person to chat about it with us this afternoon on Balls Visual Radio is none other than the former coach himself, Peter de Villiers. Div, afternoon. Good day, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Even the bad days are good. Yes. <laughs> Div, thanks, thanks so much for, for making some time to chat to us on Balls Visual Radio this afternoon. Can you? Can no, you it's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. Where's my friend, Darren? <laughs> Darren, yeah, Darren got stuck in Cape Town. He's on his way back now. He, uh, he had to catch a flight at quarter past one. So it's myself and Johnny here this afternoon. All the all, all the same same people do the same stories again. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you know Darren. He's slapgat, eh? Yeah. <laughs> um, Div, we, we just we just. Watching that game on on Saturday, obviously it's a it's a very very disappointing result for the box, and I'm sure they're no doubt gutted. W- what were your impressions watching the the game? I I I didn't disappoint you. I didn't watch the game. I was on a flight from Joburg to to Cape Town at the time. Oh really? Yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. People that I I, I had a, a talk on a Friday night, and um, I didn't actually look at what what time they booked me, and it was a bad time. Oh no! So you missed the entire game, but I don't think it was a bad thing. <laughs> Did you no, not? No, I just missed it. So I can't, I, I, I can't uh, say anything uh, on a game, you know. Did, did you not even get to see the highlights, Peter? Let me tell you, you guys think I'm still waiting for telephone calls? Eh? <laughs> 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 no, we just, I don't know, we just assumed that the former coach would maybe watch it. No, but I, I, heard, I heard about the score and I heard that we should have won it. And that's exactly what, what my my um, um, uh, big problem at this moment is. If, if we say that the trainer is very, very bad when they played against us and we still lost against them, and then we say the Orbex never played as bad this year as, as they played on Saturday, and we lost again, then we miss one one thing. If, if they so bad, how bad are we then? Yeah. But then, if if you looked at, at us going into into that match, there was there were calls not to to play Mornay. There was some Heineke persisted with him. Would you have if he was kicking badly, which he was? I mean, I, I have to you know you didn't see the game, but um, he was clearly struggling. Do you then take Mornay off? Do you stop him from kicking and hand over the kicking duties to somebody else, or was it right for Heineke to show confidence in him and persist with him? I just don't want to uh, comment on Heineken's decisions on, on, on selection and stuff like that. But what I know about life is you can't do the same thing and, and expect uh, a different result in your life. So, so maybe, maybe there was, there was, the calls were right. I don't know. Maybe there some, must be some changes. Because you have to do things differently if you want a different result. Eh? Yeah. Johnny? Yeah, well, I was just looking at some of your stats, and I suppose, uh, again, uh, Peter, I mean, you're well aware of the fact, I mean, in, when you took over, you, you guys uh, clapped Wales. Uh, you also uh, steered the box to uh, to a win against the All Blacks in Dunedin, the first team to beat the All Blacks there since uh, 2003, uh, and, and also the, the first Springbok team to beat uh, them uh, since 1998, uh, their fiercest rivals. Uh, that is a great record, isn't it? And I'm, I'm sure that, uh, it, it, you know, if you look at compared to what's happened now, uh, you, you're still streets ahead at this stage. Yeah, we also lost a few games, but, but what, I, what I'm disappointed about is the fact that nobody wanted to, to learn from the experiences that I had um, in my reign as coach. If, if, if they only gave me a call, I was going to talk about uh, team selection to them, I could have called about, talk about why did we lose in 2010 so much, I could have talked about, about our, our, our bench and, and, and replacement structures. I could actually give him a lot of, of advice, and, and, and now they try to reinvent the wheel, and they can see it's not easy if you're not in the tar road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is very, true. very nicely put. <laughs> Div, I'd like to know, as a coach now, you, you're not from two in Australasia. The guys head home. We've got two home games. What needs to happen now? Well, we're only playing for pride now at the moment because the Orbex already won this competition. Um, nothing can hold them back at this, at this moment, so... So actually, any game now is dead rubber. You know, you're playing for pride. Um, uh, uh, my 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 only view is not your best players become Springboks. Your best team become the Springboks. And at this moment, you don't have the best team on the field. Um, but then again, uh, that is the privilege of of, of the of the coach. You can make any decision you want to. 
Um, it's just a little thing that, that that bothers me. We need to we need to know where, in what country we do live. Um, and at this moment, uh, we are turning a lot of black people against ourselves by making the team white. And nobody will talk about these things, but I, I just have to. And that is what, what actually we we breaking up our country again. In 1995, when we had a chance to 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 unify the country after that great win that we had in the World Cup. We never, we never use that opportunity. Now we're breaking down the opportunity that's been on table again, and we're breaking it down again. So, so we're actually doing our country more harm through a sport that we do love so much. I'm, not, I'm interested to hear what uh, if you to elaborate. If, sorry, I, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but could you be a bit more specific about you know perhaps who you're referring to over there and exactly what you mean? Yeah, if you look at if you look at what the the the, the um, uh, the, 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 the number that we talk about, there's no quota system anymore. But you must be honest with yourself um, that we do have a lot of great players who can make a difference. You have um, uh, here in Cape Town who can make a hell of a difference. You've got Joan the, Joan the young, uh, exciting uh, player who can make a big difference. Um, we never played uh, Kulisi, you know, but we never gave him a chance. He could make a big difference. Um, there's a lot of those, uh, uh, players, and like uh, Chili Boy, Relatella, he was the, the one guy who can make that 10% that you need to, from, a, from a replacement to come onto the field um, when, uh, when, when Bismarck played, and we never, never played those guys. Now um, we're sitting down again and we're turning all the black support against, against the Springboks. Wherever I go, I hear people, people talking negative about the Springboks, and, and that's what we tried to vote in four years, you know. Yeah, mm. well, you. you more than anyone would know how passionately Springbok supporters feel about rugby and when the Springboks don't win, uh, this manifests itself in various ways. Yeah, the win, the win is, is, is something you don't have control over. But the way you do your things, you can control that. And we're doing things to hurt people who really want to, to, to cherish this country too and who want to make a big difference in this country. Now, those are the people you're chasing away from, from making that difference, you know. So... So wherever you see a white guy, and, and I'm talking about people on the streets now, wherever they see a white guy, they will say, the white is like that. And it's not the white is like that. It's only maybe one or two people who, who think differently, who've been brought up differently, and who, who don't care about the country as much as we do. So you mentioned that if you do things differently, if you, if you do things the same, you'll get the same result. Change it up a little bit. Is that what you're suggesting perhaps Haney Kamea yeah, does? That's true. That's, that's true, but if you look at 2007... When we had um, Florida Pri, he was the best, the best kicker of a rugby ball in world rugby. But that was nothing. We also had Victor Matthews who could win back all the balls that we kicked away. So if we had the ball for 18 minutes, uh, the 18 minutes remained the same for the chances that we can score points. Because Victor was there and Florida was there. Now they're not there anymore. Now we need to, 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 to move on to what the game expects of us. The game expects of us to keep the ball long in our hands. It expects of us to, to, to break the... the, the that uh, the um, organized defense down. We're not doing that because we play all our balls of nine and everybody knows it. Even if we have three players waiting for the ball, the opposition at this moment knows only one can get the ball and carry it. So we make it so easy on everybody, you know. Yeah. Um, sorry, John, I don't know if you wanted to come in there with a question. Pete, um, in some respects, I, 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 you know, do you, are you, are, do you regret the fact that you weren't called upon to give some, some advice, having uh, had such a good tenure with the Springboks? No, no regrets, but I just feel that if, if, you, if you, why do you want to start at zero if you can start at 10? Um, I mean, I had a bad when I was a Springbok coach by, by the hour. I learned a lot, and I could, could pass on that kind of experience to the next guy. So, so nobody wanted that, and that, that makes me feel that we... we we're reluctant to, to waste money on, 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 on things and then we start again and, and um, we point fingers. I think the, the people who, who should take the most flag here must be, must be uh, uh, the management guys who, who appointed the guy and never gave him direction, you know. So yeah. bearing in mind what you've just said, and I know that you mentioned the last the games at home are dead rubbers essentially, but with nothing to lose, does Heineke may then go and change up the squad, try blood some youngsters, try different combinations, and perhaps even try a different game plan? But not youngsters only. You must select a team who can enhance each other's strengths and weaknesses. We need guys who... who, who we can't have a team with six ball carriers in your, in your, in your, in your forwards. 
Um, that is the recipe for the loss. So you go at the third, third or fourth fight, you will lose that ball. Um, we just need to sit down now and see what's the right combination to where we want to be. And then we can, we can easily turn it around because Africa will always have a lot of talent. Uh, you can take even your 6th, 7th best player. If he can fit into a pattern where, where you know he enhances somebody else's strength, then you, nobody can stop us. Div, um, we appreciate your time on, on Balls Visual Radio this afternoon. It's always nice uh, chatting to you. Uh, before I let you go, how's it going at uh, UWC? UWC will always be one of the best uh, uh, growing the grounds to grow and blood new talent. Um, I think I think people in the in the Western case they don't know where the, the university is and we number three in the world. Uh, I got every year number four in the world uh, academic wise. So um, at this moment we try to get the sport on the same level. We just won our league on Saturday, three games to go. And um, if that's not good, well, it's not bad. <laughs> no, it's, awesome, it, awesome. It sounds good. But what, <laughs> what do the boys think about having the former buck coach as their coach now? Well, I think they deserved it long, long ago to have somebody here who, who actually cared about the game and, and uh, who was a student of the game. And um, I think um, if, if you look at the enthusiasm, um, watch them in two years' time. Okay. All right. Well, Div, uh, again, thanks so much for joining us on Bulls Visual Radio this afternoon. Co.ca